<laughs> the goat's going like he wants his dinner. <laughs> Do you want to tell us what happened on your hair killer? <laughs> Our um, mid hat, and we've just realised we're wearing basically the same outfit. It's so comfy, it's just easy because when you look at it. Monday and this is my second um, weekly vlog. I'm just you're balanced um, on top of a box and a moisturizer and then there's the camera because um, my tripod's in the car and I'm being lazy and I don't want to hold it and have an achy arm. Um, but yeah it is Monday and as you can see I am at home. This is my room very exciting not i've got like the world's smallest room i still live with my parents i live in a box basically um but it's monday today and i have got the whole week off work so you're going to be seeing a lot of me looking like this because i'm not making no effort and i'm also i don't know if you can see i got my tracksuit bottoms on you've got to be comfy i never understand people that wear um jeans at home who does that who dresses up nice just to sit at home not me anyway I am a little bit excited, if you didn't notice, because I just did something very, very exciting, which I probably shouldn't have done because I'm supposed to be saving money, but I just ordered um, Goatee's Mine and Goat's Cross Country videos. So, um, from uh, last year and the year before. So I ordered, um, I was by a company called Eventful Life and I didn't buy them at the time because so I was like, oh, it's too much money, I'm not spending all that on a video. But now um, I was just sat here, it's Monday morning, I was thinking, oh, feeling a bit meh. And then I was like, oh, maybe, like, it sounds really bad, but I was thinking with everything that's going on, I don't know when we'll get to go cross country again or if we'll get to go cross country again so I would just really love to have those memories to keep so um, I did it there you only live once so yeah I've ordered our Stratford Hills video from last year which is obviously really really special to me because um, it was our first event back after my accident and it was like really tough going to get there so I've ordered that one and then I've ordered um, Little Downham from 2018 the season before our last event and it was the um, we went clear cross country there and it was again another really special event because we'd got eliminated at the cross country there the event before so um, yeah and I was so proud and Little Downham's a really technical course so I've just ordered those two videos and I can't wait for them to come and when they do um, I will obviously probably put them on this vlog um, but yeah it's Monday and the plan for the rest of the day is do nothing <laughs> no um i am having a chill day it is half 11 and i haven't done anything i'm gonna go and um move the horses in a bit we've been moving the horses to the grassy field at lunchtime um but goat has been so naughty he keeps rearing and bucking and charging around the field and it's 40 mile hour winds today so um he might stay where he is. I'll see what he's like when I get down there. And I've got to go and do some shopping, food shopping. And while I'm doing that, I'm picking up my bike. Um, I've ordered a push bike. Yes, I know. I, um, I'm gonna cycle to the stables, that's the plan. So I'm gonna take Tori with me and we're gonna pick that up. And then I wrote to my dad into helping me build it. And I also wanna do some baking. So yeah, even though I said I haven't got a lot to do, I have got a lot to do. And I've been waffling for four minutes, so. Did we get the bike, Toria? Yeah. <laughs> the bike is in the car. And we just have to carry that all the way out of Sainsbury's. <laughs> okay, we've got the bike and um, I just had to <laughs> put my helmet on. <laughs> 
safety first guys we wouldn't ride our horses without a, um, a helmet so i'm not going to be riding a bike helmet. obviously i'm going to sort this out but ah tour is um not impressed dave is still about even though it's like 40 mile an hour winds there he is look there he is this is what I'm talking about when I panic about locking gates. We got halfway up the drive and I was like, ah, I can't remember if we shut Brooks Gate or not. So I sent Toria to um, go and do that. And we've left Pete and Goat in their non-grassy fields because that little bit of grass that he's had in the last couple of days, he's gone psycho. He's been rearing and galloping around his field. So no grass today. Um, he can stay up there and then Brooks in the grassy field. Did I lock it? Yeah. Oh, I did lock it. Oops. It's time to do some baking. I'm gonna try today, um, cause obviously it's gonna involve bananas because um, I mean, are you a quarantine baker if you're not cooking with bananas? I am gonna do banana flapjacks. <laughs> Hopefully this will turn out better than goat's flapjack birthday cake that I made. Yeah, I got the recipe off Insta and it's just like bananas, oats, honey. We'll give it a go. Oh, it's got chocolate in it too. Mmm, I can't wait. That was really easy. I mean, it looks like flapjack mixture, so I think it's gonna be good. I think this is gonna be a good one. That's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna put it in my baking tray. I think my baking tray might be too big. It's done. Well, I think it's done anyway. I think it's gonna firm up as it cools. Um, but I can see some lumps of banana, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this, guys, but I'll give it a go anyway. I, um have such a sweet tooth. I need to try it now, I can't wait any longer. Let's do the taste test. It smells quite banana-y. Mm. It's very banana-y. I am, um, yes, I'm in my fluffy jumper, it's freezing. I've just started watching Killing Eve and I'm obsessed. Like I really need to go and I have a long list of stuff I should be doing right now, but every time like, I'm gonna turn it off, something else happens. And now I'm still on the first series. Um, it's like no spoilers or anything, but I, I can't even put into words like what's happening. Like, why haven't I watched this sooner? Um, I feel like most of this week is going to be spent with me watching um, my box set. Oopsie. <laughs> We're tacking up in the stable today because we don't want to get blown away, do we, Goaty? Are you going to be a good boy? No bucking and rearing and galloping like you've been doing in the field? Hmm, I'm not convinced. So I am going to try and put you on the fence, but it is super windy. Goat's hiding. He thinks if he stands in the corner that he won't get tacked up. <laughs> I can see you. Oh dear. You guys blew off the fence. And, um, oh, this isn't a very attractive angle. Goat's going really well, so I want to try and film it. I'll put you down lower and see if that works. You fell over again. Did they fall over, goat? <laughs> we had a really, really good les lesson session. We had a really good session. See, we're going to only did 20 minutes tonight as it's windy and not fun. Look at my shiny new bike. Oh, I'm so excited to ride this. Look how shiny it is. Okay, how do you even, I've no idea how you even use those. And the seat doesn't look very comfortable, but I mean. 
I am going to be like a speed demon. I'm so excited to ride my new bike, but I can't yet because um, there's no air in the tyres. Dad's got a compressor, but um, the, we didn't have the right adapter. So it's going to be a couple of days until the adapter comes and I can ride it, which is a shame, but um, I'm just happy that I've got it and it looks so cool. Um, I didn't plan on picking the camera up again tonight, but I've just had an email that my cross country video is ready for me to view and i only ordered it this morning so uh, i feel like i'm gonna get really really emotional watching this i'm like oh do i watch it i've clicked on it now um which one is it gonna be is it it's our stratford hills one okay okay i'm gonna watch it maybe shall i film my reaction um maybe i will <laughs> Okay, I'm getting emotional already. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna insert it after this so you guys can see. You can hear the commentator. Here comes Feed the Goat flying home. <laughs> he wants his feed when he gets home. You guys will see all of this. <laughs> the goat's going like he wants his dinner. <laughs> Oh, like when I mean, you see me going over it at the end like you just see me patting him oh I'm such a mess like such a mess I will never ever ever take for granted um, going cross country at an event again yeah wow oh it's like the best the best money that I've spent I've still got one more to come I've still got a little down and one to come <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go and get some dinner now. That's enough um, crying on the vlog. Catherine Davis, 
the state of our garden but look where she is napping oh she's gone under the little table to have a little nap in the shade that is so cute Dave's here. He's limping. Maybe that's why he's always here. Oh no. This is awful. Is he hurt or is he just born like that? I mean, he's eating the grass alright, so he can't be in that much pain. Poor Dave. There's also a goat. They're best friends. I don't think I've picked up the camera today and it is now like half four in the afternoon. I have had, that's better you can see me, I have had the worst headache again. Um, I think it's when I um, watch too much like TV and go on my phone without my glasses. Like I wear glasses for work and I haven't been wearing them at home. Um, so yeah, I've had a killer headache. I did a workout and then just crashed in bed all afternoon. But I mean, I don't mind because I watched some more of Killing Eve and I've watched all of the first season now. So I've got season two to start tonight. And um, I'm just about to go put some jumps out and have a little jump session. Ella and I planned to do that. We try and jump together because there's always someone else around then if it goes wrong. I mean, oh, touch wood, obviously it won't. But just in case, um, we always make, like to make sure there's one of us on the yard and... We quite like training together. well i like training with her anyway um it's just so nice to have someone else to train with like i've really missed that before and now um particularly in the winter we really motivate each other to ride um yeah it's good i feel like i always get the short end of the straw and have to put the jumps out <laughs> um but i oh i'm always the one not always the one but i am um, i'm a little bit obsessed with like exercises and ideas i have a list on my phone and I buy like horsey magazines and that. And then when I find one that I like, I put a list of it on my phone. So I have got enough jumps and poles um, to do what I had planned to, which is really good. So we start off at the top end of the school with four trot poles. Um, and he's useless at poles. So I fully expect us to stand on them at some point. And then we have a cross here, a bounce to a small upright and then an upright at the end. That is the plan. Come on, aren't you? I think there was already a scar there and I think he's tried to scratch it off. So I'll clean it up after we've ridden and put some cream on it. Won't we? Has it been a hard day, goat? <laughs> hey.
So you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in Just remember where we're going And remember where we've been Get off the rug! Are the boys being naughty? They are, aren't they? Boys are being naughty. It's Wednesday. I feel like every day I start the vlog by saying whatever the day is, even though I will put along the bottom what day it is, but if you didn't know, it's Wednesday, and um, I had just sent her up the dress, picked up our HelloFresh box. I love HelloFresh, but it's so expensive. So um, we only get it when it's on offer, and we actually managed to get um, it delivered to my Nan's house, which is just around the corner so I could walk there, and we got 50% off. So um, yeah, three yummy meals in here, which I'm gonna be cooking for the family next three nights. And I'm just gonna get it all out of the box now and put it in the fridge ready for later. Tea, but this is what is inside. And I think this is what keeps it cold. Pop me inside the fridge saying that. Oh, this has got the meat and that in, I'm guessing. Take that out. Oh God, it's heavy. And then these are the recipes that I picked. So we've got Honey glazed chicken flatbread, cheese and caramelized onion pork steaks, and then meatballs and bacon and onion gravy. I think this one I'm gonna have tonight because I'm really fancying something with vegetables and I might have more vegetables in because we had fish and chips last night from the shop and I ate my weight in chips. Um, so yeah, you get that and then it's got all the vegetables in. There's the flatbreads for our pizza, and then in there's all like your spices and sauces, and it's all measured aubergine. It's the afternoon already. 
I'm just spending my week off doing not a lot and I am so okay with that. This morning all that's happened is I did the horses, um, I got my Hello Fresh box which I might have, I think I filmed some bits so you might have already seen that and then um, I'm looking very pink on the camera, I don't know what's going on there. Um, see this is why I would always usually put foundation on when I'm filming because I get really pink skin so I would always like before I started, I would say even up to the start of this year I wouldn't vlog unless I had foundation on. Um, but now I've just got to the point where this is me and if you don't like it then stop watching <laughs> in the nicest way possible. Um, oh my phone's ringing, I can feel it on my watch. Ah oh, it's Ella. Hello? Hi, sorry Mr. Cool. Oh that's alright, I've just realised that I've forgotten my hacking tag. Are you alright now? Are you back on? Yeah, I'm just coming up the hill. Oh, do you want to tell us what happened on your hack Ella? <laughs> why did you why did you fall off? Um because they turned a what they called irrigation. An irrigator. An irrigator. On you. What would you rather? Fall off or get absolutely drenched? Which one? I mean it could have been both. Well yeah, let's think he's so lucky. Imagine if I'd have actually broken my leg, I'd have been laying there just getting showered. Well that would be a nice insurance claim, wouldn't it? And did you run off Brockies? Yeah. Did he go far? To the pub while I fed, so I was like... Oh. This is... Thinking about the belly, aren't you Brockies? Think about the belly! Dave's here and I'm about to let this guy off the head collar. He's probably going to go. Yep. I warned you Dave. He's only going in here for a couple of hours a day and it's just blowing his little mind. It's Thursday and um, today can only be described as a lazy day. It has been a good day for me anyway. I have done nothing, absolutely nothing. Actually I lied, I did a workout, but other than that, absolutely nothing. I got up at 10, oh, I had the best lay in. Um, Ella did the ponies this morning, so I put my eye mask on and so it stayed dark. I, as soon as the sun comes up, I'm awake otherwise and yeah, I laid in till 10 and then I've now finished season two of Killing Eve so I'm getting through some serious episodes and then did a workout, washed my hair and now I'm at the stables if you didn't already tell. Um, so the plan for this afternoon is Goat was supposed to have physio but um, Zoe's message and asked if we can move to tomorrow so I've just jiggled things around so we can do that. So I'm going to lunge him now and then bring him down to his grassy field and then I'm going to hack out um, the broccoli pony and then potentially help Ella jump um, Annie later. Uh, but yeah, we were just chuckling when I rang her to say I was gonna ride Brock today. She said, good luck catching him in the grassy field. So obviously, you'll see in the clip from last week's weekly vlog where she couldn't catch him and I was just watching and filming. So um, I'll set the camera up when I catch him later and we'll see if um, 
I have any better luck. <laughs> Be a good boy. You're gonna be loony. I think loony. Because you want to go in the grass, don't you? Hey? Do for work first. And then if you weren't so loony, you could go in the grass earlier. Let's see how long this takes. I think it's around, we're saying around 20 minutes of time at the moment. Sorry Ella. <laughs> Got him first time. Sucker. He's a sucker for the treat box. Good boy. I haven't had Brock since, well, for a good, well, probably since lockdown started, I haven't been out on him. And I've been riding only Goat and Tiny, who both have ginormous necks. So it feels very odd to be on a rather um, compact little pony, but he just, he's just such a pleasure to ride. Like, he's sharp, but there's something about it. Like, his walk is so, it's bouncy, but rhythmical. And, like, the sound of his hooves. Oh, it's just he makes a nice little tune where his goat just drags his feet so um yeah i'm very very much enjoying this and the sun's come out now as well which is really nice but i'm not going to risk my luck i'm going to put the phone away now because um he like i said he is a bit sharp and he is known to do a spin and run good morning it's friday um although i'm not excited for it to be friday this week because it means my week off is almost over and it's absolutely flown by. I think time in general is just flying by. Um, like since this whole lockdown thing came in, I can't believe it's been what, seven, eight weeks now. Um, it's just crazy, like absolutely crazy. I feel like at the moment my life is on fast forward and I just really like to get back to normal speed if that could be okay. But um, yeah, as I said, it's Friday. Um, it is early, it's not early, it's like nine, but compared to my lion yesterday, it's early and um i'm riding tiny this morning and then go afterwards i'm not usually a morning rider but um sarah tiny's owner is coming up to help me again so um yeah we agreed half nine then i'll ride go afterwards and then he's got physio this afternoon so a really horsey day which is lush because the weather is beautiful as well this hoodie is going to be coming off very soon um, and i must go and feed the ponies and get their night rugs off because they're going to be hot 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 you're like a circle that floats around me 
keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet That you showed up number two I'm just grabbing my whip because I dropped it earlier and I think today I'm going to try um, my bungee band on him which I, I am doing a separate video for but I, I think I'll probably end up talking about it on here as well so I've tried it on the lunge and um, I'll be honest it wasn't really for us on the lunge I was very kindly actually have to put that in here gifted this by Zoe who is our um, physio who is sponsored by for physio she makes them basically but Ella tried it on the flat and loved it so I'm really hoping that um, we're gonna get similar results with goat but I'm gonna just warm him up without first then I'll hop off pop the bands on and we'll see and I'll set my camera up so I'll have the footage to look back because I'll be able to see what he's going like as well as how it feels you're sleepy today not like yesterday when you were galloping around like a crazy rodeo pony Hiding your lip, I'm trying to get your. Let's go. <laughs> you could actually catch a fly in that goat. When Charles does that, James stuffs me. Is that nice? Yeah, oh dear. A... Oh my god. He's got his teeth. Ah. He had his teeth out. <laughs> Stop moving every time I get the camera. Look at that wobble, it's like jelly. <laughs> it's like there's a fly. You got 
fish snacks. The cow can't sleep. I don't think he can eat it. He's just <laughs> walking with it, hanging out the side of his I mouth. <laughs> It's Sunday um, and I don't usually, well I've only been doing a weekly vlog once but I said I wouldn't vlog on Sunday but um, I didn't pick the camera up at all yesterday because um, as Ella told me I was on the Corona coaster and um, I was on a down yesterday. Yesterday was not a good day. I didn't get out of bed till like two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I ate a lot of chocolate. It wasn't a good day. Well I mean it's fine to have those days now and then. Life isn't perfect. I had a really good week and I just needed a day of doing not a lot. So um, it's Sunday now and we're just taking the boys out for a super long hack. It's the route we took um, the girls on the other day. and We've been out for, coming up for nearly two hours now. So it's really nice, we're on the homeward stretch. Then I'm gonna have a barbecue um, and then get ready for a week of work. So I'm gonna round up the weekly vlog here and I really, really hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been really hard to edit and keep it like at sensible time because I've been off work, I've filmed so much. Um, but this week or next week, um, I'm working 50 hours. So I'm not sure what the weekly vlog is gonna look like, but we will see. Um, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and you'd like to see more of what I get up to each week, please um, click subscribe and like this video so I know that um, weekly vlogs are a hit. And yeah, I hope you've all had a great weekend and I will see you um, actually tomorrow, but next week.